So uh, if you saw my last video, you saw that the juice bottle, Simply Orange, that I had for a gas tank here was uh, spraying gas all over my back and neck and my bare butt and balls. So I decided to use this Balloon Time Walmart helium tank for a gas tank. And this video is about how I managed to mount that up. Once I'm all done with that, at the end of the video, Eli behind the camera and I are going to test drive it, see how stable this mount is, and see if we can get the gas tank to fall off. So we're going to be driving it over as many bumps and hills and lumps as we can in order to see if this will fall off, which is good. It's the goal. And if we don't reach the goal, then our other goal of having a successful bracket build is complete. This is just getting Ninety-year-old gas all over everything. I want to put this here, and then I want to figure out a way to strap it on so it's easy to just unhook it and take it out, so I can get it all this. So I think I'm going to make some brackets to fit here, and this might be overkill, but eh, 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 who cares? I need to make something round that will cradle this. According to our investigators. Pretty close. So these will hold it up here. And there you go. Now that that's what that is, let me figure out how to mount these. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Now I just gotta figure out a way to strap it down and keep it from spinning in there. Got these bad boyers right here. I could just weld these brackets to the tank, but I am not a good enough welder to weld this thin metal. And uh, so I'm not gonna try that. So my next plan is to build a strap of sorts out of this metal, bend it around. This thing's a little lopsided, but who cares? I'm just gonna stick this on here like this. Oh, and uh, so now this is the end of the video. <laughs> and you just watched me build the bracket for this. So now I'm gonna put it on and it's time to test and see if it's gonna fall off. Just uh, real quick and easy. This bolt goes through the hole so the tank doesn't spin in the bracket. <clears throat> These guys latch it down, hold it nice and tight. Like so. And then you just, this is a little bit of overkill, but it's gonna do it. And you just hook it up like so. Like that, 
turn it on. I'm really blessed that Eli showed up today because uh, when it comes to doing crazy stunts, I'm kind of a bitch. But Eli, uh, he can do backflips and on anything you want him to. And uh, I, he's actually the only one who has actually jumped this cart before. Like he did like a 20 foot jump on this bad boy right here and, and landed on the nose, but he knows how to bail. So I, I'm glad he's here because he can put it through the paces better than I can, but I'm just gonna get it started. Just warm it up a little bit before it has to face the wrath of Eli. Wow. Can you still hear me? You can, I think you can hear me. All right, uh, rib's pretty good. It looks like, let's take a look at the tank so far. So the uh, PVC fitting epoxied into the top of the tank here. The epoxy has failed. So the epoxy is leaking pretty good, but it's not splashing out like it was with the juice bottle. So my back is dry. And uh, for the most part, seems like it's still on there nice and tight but Eli if you want to give it a shot see if you can rattle this tank loose I think it's time we swap I'm a tank rattler all right let's do it whatever so uh where can I put this that'll stay there right there hey watch your elbows on these seatbelt brackets because they will go between your bones oh jeez. yeah it hurts all right <coughs> give us some gas and then th is this brake yeah Here we go. That should be good. I got my reps in today. some juices flowing down from the top but I think that's just from the epoxy. <coughs> epoxy. <laughs> this thing almost came off mm. but it looks like let's give it the shake test here. <coughs> that's not gonna work. 
So yeah, so uh, I think that pretty much concludes this video. The gas tank is solid. Go kart is still fun. Dog, please. Stop. If you want to see more go kart stuff, hit subscribe. We're probably going to keep the balloon time gas tank for when we put the 45, the 48 horsepower motor on here. This motor is six and a half horsepower. We're going to bring it up to 48 horsepower with an engine swap uh, with five gears. I think it's five gears, maybe four. Five. Five. I think. So this thing's going to scream. Hit subscribe if you want to see that. That engine is in the process of being rebuilt right now. Thank you to Eli for coming and supporting the channel. George, subscribe. Click that like button. Yep.